What's good dudes and dudettes? Vintage anime openings, 90s, cause why not? Yeah! Today we're gonna be reacting to Yu Yu Hakusho, Cowboy Bebop, Sailor Moon, all the dark, groomy stuff of the 90s. Don't forget to like and subscribe, cause that just helps. It's a blessing, it's a good thing, it's a good deed. Just do something good today, haha. <laughs> we got this witch and a broomstick, okay. Okay, wait a second. We got some 80s and 90s jazz groovy type music. What is this? Let me start this again. Is this John Travolta? Wait, wait, okay, wait. We have the switch now at the beginning. Okay, hello, goodbye. This is like a summer vibe, but jiggy with it. What is this? I noted like 90s anime had a lot of these idol type vibes and with this singer I can feel it definitely <laughs> okay we got a mythical beast and this is another anime where the main characters were in a different world and he was shooting with his fingers mm, 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 mm. What is this? He just sliced them with a magic blade. That's not even a blade. Who's this? Oh, this one actually has an actual blade. Beautiful. And she has a whip to keep all the men away from her. I respect it. All the gargoyles and shit. Oh, the artwork though. It's so different. The 90s, it's beautiful. This is the main character guy. The Power Rangers. Interesting. A giant typhoon. Yo, this was cool. It begins with a witch, and five seconds later, we get the da 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 Yo, the harmony from the back, the, the, the vocals. <laughs> Just changed immediately the whole vibe to it. Who's this, the main character? This is a bit different, a bit more deep. What is this, a different language? Is this the pyramids? Is she getting reborn? Wah! Is she... It's futuristic! It's in 3055! What is... You're all so sad! I mean, it makes sense, the future's not gonna be nice, but the look at this, it's gonna be very depressing! Blood and gore! This is incredibly aesthetic! Psychological as fuck! Mmm, <laughs> mm, a little bit of extra is gonna give it that bigger points. Neon Genesis Evangelion, just by the name of it. It's futuristic, psychological by the looks of it, dark as hell. No expression to their face, just sadness and agony and pain. And you see all of the mecha transformers and all of that. God, the blood on robots, whatever it was. Mecha anime, I think that's what it is. Gonna have to watch one, because I've never seen a mecha anime before. But I know they can get dark, and that was dark. I'm giving it a 9, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I enjoyed it a bit more than Yu Yu Hakusho. It was, it was fucking dope. Now we got GTO, Great Teacher, Onizuka. I've read the first two volumes of it. I, I read, read a little bit of manga and I checked this out and it was very good. It's about this delinquent guy. He's gonna become a teacher and uh, give us a lot of life lessons because we need that in this world because most people just fail to help us so we need an anime character to you know give us a little bit of inspiration and how to be a man, how to be a human being. What is he doing? <laughs> Motherfucker's taking a piss. <laughs> He's naked. Oh god damn it Onizuka. Smoking his cigar. Yo, the music, the vibe, I love this one. 
Mm. This is a very like real manga, real animation, real vibe to it. The way life can be if you're just a delinquent, just chilling, relaxing, spray painting. But at one point in life, you reach an age that you have to take more responsibility. It sucks, but you gotta do it, and then you get character development in yourself. <laughs> oh, just driving. Driver's high, yeah. That's the only time you can feel free, I guess. As a cigarette in his mouth while driving his car, motorcycle, whatever. And then inspiring the kids. Mm. Yo, the gun and the bullet point. Ah, oh, that was nice. 9.5, currently my favorite. I enjoyed that a lot. There's a little bit of bias. I have read the first couple of chapters, volumes of GTO. It's weird, it's funny. There's some stoic lessons to it. Very good life lessons to it. But here, even the animation, you can see the character a bit. He's just a jokester, a guy who gives no fucks. But that's how it seems at the beginning. Because at one point, life changes. And he's gonna have to make a big decision. Gonna have to change his circumstances. He's still gonna have the same personality in a way, but... It's nice, it mixes well. I like it. What the fuck? Oh, another dark anime, okay. Sailor Moon. Okay, sorry, I need to start this again. This reminds me of the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. If you haven't watched that, it's a Scooby-Doo spin-off. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Out oh, there, go the whole dark tone to the city. Ah, oh, yeah, Batman. Sailor Moon Edition. Okay. Oh, I do the colors, yeah. I feel like this show is a lot darker than I would have ever imagined because Sailor Moon, it's a household name. But it looks like... Yeah, there's a big story around this. On the running. That's classic, isn't it? Oh, the cherry blossoms. Who the fuck is this? Is this a guy? I got a mask. What is this? More characters? Oh, we got Cruella de Vil. And these are the three main girls, Sailor Moon and her friends. Again, with just the stoic faces, no expression. Was that something popular in like old school anime? I'm feeling like old school anime was very, very dark. Even a show like this. And she has the little mascot, the little kitty cat. This is kind of inspiration to like the Powerpuff Girls. Totally spice with like the three girls just walking around, being a team. I feel like a lot of people in animation in the West have taken inspiration from anime. 100%. Even movies. Sailor Moon is definitely something that a lot of people have taken inspiration from. I'm giving an 8.5 for originality. Switch the tone from like dark and the gore to a little bit more again psychological type feeling. It was weird. I like weird. Now we got a Cowboy Bebop. I have seen Cowboy Bebop. I do not care. I needed to add Cowboy Bebop to this and I'm gonna listen to a Cowboy Bebop. Ha. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. It doesn't get old. I've never seen this show, but I know the opening. I don't care. I'm gonna listen to it again because... Ooh. Oh, the saxophone. Da -da 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 -da. 
Oh, the space opera. I need to watch this show. I 100% need to watch it. Yo, I just lifted this music when I'm walking across the city when it's nighttime. It's such a bop. It's such a vibe. This is like Clint Eastwood in the future. The good, the bad, and the ugly space edition. <clears throat> it just doesn't stop. Oh, the saxophone, the bass, the drums. Beautiful. Yeah, this one is just a work of art. I love it. The bass, the saxophone. <laughs> Amazing. The space opera. The characters just look dope as hell. I need to watch this show 100%. This one is getting a 10 out of 10. The first 10 out of 10. Am I biased? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I've listened to this a billion times and I love it. Cowboy Bebop. It just sounds dope, doesn't it? Cowboy Bebop. Ooh, star Clint Eastwood. Before you click off, like, subscribe, just do it. And also don't forget, have an amazing week, an amazing month, an amazing year, an amazing life. We're gonna be making more, so stay tuned.